Hello, I'm Steve Henry. I'm Alexa Forbes. And I'm Simon Harvey. I'm passionate about this idea of creating the future because I see sustainability as an issue of design, or perhaps bad design, rather than a problem with the environment. I'm Steve Henry and I live in the northern part of the South Island of New Zealand. It's a magnificent place to live and I feel very privileged. And it's, uh, I like spending a lot of time in nature because it, I find it very restorative and I'm privileged to live near the sea, so I spend a fair bit of time on the water. I live in the Queenstown Lakes District and we face quite a few issues as a growing community, often issues that other communities might be uh, envious of in that we have a lot of wealth coming through, a lot of economic growth, but that creates issues of affordable housing, affordability, um, energy use, uh, transportation problems, there's all sorts of issues that come with the success of a community like that and there are many people that don't actually get to enjoy the success that is created by wealth. My name's Simon Harvey. I live on Waiheke Island, which is a small island just off the city of Auckland in New Zealand. And I spend most of my time supporting businesses to think about how they can do well by doing good. I'm in interested in how we can apply systems thinking to improving our communities. And I'm really interested in the interface between people and nature because it's a really magical place and it's often misunderstood because Ecology works just majestically and humans somehow have missed the piece around mimicking it successfully. So let's do that. And understanding how our communities work as their own ecosystems is vital to understanding how you can improve the community for everyone. And we're going to give you a very short introduction to what this course is going to cover and what you can expect to get out of it personally, professionally and also for the people who you live with. In this course we look at systems very, you know, and, and how they work and one of the great systems that we've all got is a body. So we'll be using that in this course as an analogy for how wider systems work. But if you have a think about the things you know about your body, you probably know certain things about it, but there's a whole lot of things you don't know about your body, these invisible systems that just seem to work. Um, the nervous system, the digestive system, how you think, how you feel. These are very hard things to measure and sometimes a bit mysterious. Well, what we, what we want to do in this course is take the mysterious aspects of sustainability, this big thing, and make it quite simple. And in fact, it is quite simple when you look at what success is. It's a bit like your body. It's actually quite simple what success is. Feed it well, treat your body well, exercise it, don't fill it with poisons. It's not that. It's not rocket science. The purpose of this course is going to be to challenge your thoughts about what is an ideal future. And you may have asked yourself at some time in your life, what is life all about? And we hope that some of the answers to that question will come through this course as you evaluate what does success really mean? And as you uncover that, what we hope you'll discover is that sustainability is about intentional design as opposed to saving the planet. One of the other things that you'll learn from this course is that sustainability is not an environmental problem. Sustainability is a human problem. The earth itself works perfectly well and all of its ecological systems are beautifully balanced until we do certain things at a certain scale that begins to disrupt them. If we can not do those things and if we can define what it looks like to do things in a really good way, then we will find that sustainability is not so much of a challenge but an opportunity to live a great life. What does a successful community look like? How do you integrate all the different drivers and all the different things that people want out of a community to make it successful and a fantastic place to live? This course will introduce a lot of the concepts to do that and give you the tools to be able to look at your community from a much wider perspective and to look at all the parts that make up the whole and how you might improve it. You'll get to analyse what sort of vision would suit everybody that lives in your community, some sort of collaborative vision, where you are now, what your baseline is, and then you'll get to identify steps that will take you towards your vision in an inclusive way that includes all the parts of your community and the systems that it operates in.